Hello everyone and welcome to Azam Shah Weekly. And in this video, I'm going to cover the navigation split view, which is introduced in iOS 16 and Xcode 14. So let's go ahead and get started. The navigation split view is mainly used for devices that have more real estate and you can divide your or split your screen into two columns or even three columns. So you can see on the right hand side, I'm looking at the iPad Air in a basically the landscape orientation. Now, if I want to create a split view so that the left part will be a list and the right part will be detail, how can I do that? Let's go ahead and start using navigation split view. Navigation split view. You can see that the navigation split view does come with different overloads. The sidebar content and detail, that is for if you want three columns, or a sidebar and a detail, which means if you need two columns. So we actually need two columns in this case, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use two columns. The first column is going to display the sidebar, which is just a text sidebar. And the second column is going to display the detail. As soon as I do that, you can already see that it is showing us the sidebar as well as the detail. Now, that's a little bit too big, so I'm just going to go ahead and go back to a little bit normal state. All right, so let's say that on the sidebar, I want to display genres. All right, so how can we do that? Well, we will probably have to start with creating an enum to represent genres. There we go. You can see that we have an enum over here that contain genre like action, horror, fiction, and kids. It's case iterable and also hashable, and the value is string. So if I want to display all of this information over here, what can I do? Well, I will have to go and create a list in the sidebar. We will go ahead and start with genres. There we go. And we will try to display the value of the genre. So if I go ahead and use a text, I can say genre.rawValue. And there we go. You can actually see that the genres are being displayed. Right? Now, there are a couple of different things I want to do. I want to select a genre over here. And when I select a genre, I want to see the movie associated with that genre in the detail. And that's the whole point of having the navigation split view that on the sidebar, which is this part, you can display a list, you can select something, and the detail of that selection will be displayed in the detail view. So a couple of different things we need to do. We need to hold on to the selection. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create a state variable. I will call it selected genre, which will be of type genre. And in the list, we can use the selection property and assign it to the binding, which is selected genre. When we get the genre, instead of just displaying a text value, we can display a navigation link. Passing in the actual text for the genre and the value in this case. All right. Now, if we run this right now, we're not really updating the detail. So we can select this and you can see this a nice highlighting effect automatically applied on our selection, which is great. But how do we update the detail? Because that's the most important part that we want to do. I mean, I can go ahead and display the selected genre over here by saying selected genre and whatever the raw value is. All right. We have to make sure that we are displaying it correctly because it is uh, nullable. Okay. So now if I run this, we can see that the genre, the selection is actually changing on the detail. As soon as I select the genre, it is actually updating my detail view. But what if I want to not really update the detail like that? I want to, you know, display some movies. Well, in that case, we need to create a movie struct just like the genre. So I'll create struct, we'll call it movie. 
it will have a couple of different things like a name and genre, which will be of type genre. And once we have that, we can create movies, basically a list of movies. All right. Now, in the detail view, we need to get the movie based on the selected genre. So that's the question how do we do that part? Well, let's go ahead and do it. Let filtered movies equals to movies.filter. And we can find out if the genre over here is matching the selected genre. If there are matching, then we're going to get the filtered movies. And now it's kind of up to us that how do you want to display the movies? This is completely up to you. If you want to display the movies in a grid, then we can go ahead and create some columns for the grid also. There we go. So I'm creating a column or two columns in this case, 400 size. That's a fixed size. And I can just go ahead and display those things. All right. So I can use a lazy grid to display those items. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and run this and see that if we select a particular movie, can we see the actual result? And you can see that it is actually displaying us the actual result on the detail view once we select a particular movie. Which is pretty cool. I mean, we are able to utilize that. So navigation split view is actually working out to be really good. And we are able to display the list of movies. Now, another question that comes to mind is, okay, we are displaying the navigation view, but what about if we want it to, you know, display three columns instead of two columns? What if we have genres over here, we have the movies over here of the selected genre, and then the detail of the movie over here. So this can become like a movies. And this can become movie detail. So how can we do that? Movie detail. This means that we are going to be creating three different columns. And how can we create three different columns? All right. So let's go ahead and see how we can do that. The middle column, well, the left column, the first column remains the same. The second column will be displaying the movies. Not in a grid, probably in some sort of a list. And if you look at the navigation split view, navigation split view consists of the sidebar, which is this part. The content, if you're using three columns, so this will become content. And somewhere over here, we will use the detail. So let's go ahead and just type detail so that you know which one is the detail. There we go. You can see the genres over here and everything is working as expected. Now we have to fill out the middle one, right? With the content, the content should be able to display the movies in some sort of a list instead of a grid. So I'm just going to remove the grid over here. For you, I'm just going to go ahead and comment it out or remove it. That's fine. You don't really need a grid over here. And what we can do is we can just use a list, which will go over the filtered movies. Once we get the actual movie, we can display it, the, just the title of the movie, movie.name. Let's go ahead and see if it works or not. Oh, wow, it's actually working really good. You can see that whenever I select a movie, the middle column, which is the content column, is getting updated. Great. The other thing that we want to do is we want to also select, uh, well, different type of navigation titles. So let's go ahead and give it navigation title over here for genres. Let's see if that displays or not. Genres, that, there we go. Whenever we are selecting a particular genre, I want to show the actual genre. So selected genre, 
the raw value or else uh, just show nothing. So action, there it is. You can see the action horror. There we go. Pretty cool. Now, other thing we want to do is we don't really want to display this as text. We want to show that as a navigation link. So I can go ahead and say navigation link. Navigation link passing in the movie dot name and the value, which in this case will be the actual movie. I also want to select a particular movie to make it so that it's highlighting. So I'm going to say selection of the movie will go to a bindable property called selected movie, not selection movie, but selected movie, which you can see that it doesn't exist. So this means that we will need to create a property for state that will hold the selected movie. All right. Now let's go ahead and see what's going on. I think it's complaining somewhere over here. Uh, selection, selected movie. Maybe I'm doing something wrong over here. Let's see what I'm doing something wrong. Must conform to hashable. Okay, so movie is not hashable. So let's go ahead and make sure it is hashable. Okay, that looks fine. And then the final part we want to do is we want to simply show the detail as the selected movie. So text, and then we can say selected movie dot raw value, not raw value dot name, I guess, or else we will display nothing. And we want this to be a large font. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it as large title. Now we have created a three column architecture with a navigation split view. Let's go ahead and see if we can run this. Horror. Now you can see that whenever I select, it actually shows me that particular movie. Awesome. Kids movie, Finding Nemo. So now we have this three tier architecture or a three column architecture that we have easily created using the navigation split view in iOS 16 and Xcode 14 with Swift UI. So hope you have enjoyed this. Thank you so much. If you like this video and want to support my channel, then the best way would be to check out my courses on Udemy. You can see that I have a lot of courses which are targeting iOS development, including the best selling course for MVVM design pattern using Swift in iOS. This is for UI kit. I also have a 26 plus hour course on Swift UI development from start to finish. I have courses on the programming Mac OS development, intermediate application development with Swift, Swift UI cookbook, combine, testament development, and many more. I also recently released a couple of different courses, including core data in iOS and also building augmented reality apps in reality kit in ar kit this course just got released and this is 6.5 plus more hour course which will teach you everything you want to know about augmented reality ar development using reality kit so definitely check out these courses the link for these courses is right there in the description thank you so much